Welcome to the Seize the Night Virtual Gala Pre-Show. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Take some time to check out all the great items on the silent auction and place your bids. And don't forget to have some fun and snap a picture for the virtual photo booth.
Hi there, my name is Gavin Berry, general manager of Label K here in Cherry Creek. Tonight I am joined with Kirsty Martinez of Keller Williams Preferred Realty. We are going to walk you through the signature cocktail this evening and get you ready for a great evening. Thanks Gavin, thanks so much for having us here tonight. We are super excited to be hosting the first virtual gala of A Precious Child. All right, we're gonna build our cocktail for the evening. So as we get ready, you're gonna start with some ice. You're gonna have your pre-scooped cucumbers. So you're gonna deseed all the cucumbers, have them chopped. They don't have to be chopped finely, just little little pieces of it. Next, you're gonna do a little bit of lime, some mint, some simple sugar, which is just sugar water essentially, maybe two to three ounces, so a two count on that. Some fresh lime juice, two to three count on that and then muddled all together. So whatever muddle you have at home will work just fine. That's just gonna release the juices in the cocktail itself. Next, we're going to add about four ounces of Hella Vodka. So maybe a four count. One, two, three, four. You're going to shake. And then strain into your pre-built cocktail glass. So with that, you're just gonna need a little ice. Everything is then strained into the glass. And then you're going to top with either Sprite, if you like a little sweeter, or a little soda water if you prefer tartness. Lastly is the garnish with the mint. And there you have a maritime mash for this signature cocktail. And you're ready to enjoy. Wow, that looks amazing. I can't wait to, to try it out. Um, thanks everybody for joining us tonight. Enjoy, enjoy the, the show. show.
May I have your attention, please? The show's about to begin. Be quiet. Please take your seats. Let the show begin. This little light of mine. Now I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Now I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Dear God, thank you for a precious child. Amen. Good evening. I'm Lance Carl, the Associate Athletic Director for the University of Colorado and a proud member of a Precious Child's Board of Advisors, and I will be your MC for tonight. Thank you for joining us for our first ever Seize the Night virtual gala. It has been a bit of a rocky year planning this special event during these uncertain times, so we appreciate your support in helping us steer the ship in a different direction for this year. At A Precious Child, we work every day to help empower children to succeed. Our belief is that every child should have the opportunities and essential resources they need to achieve their full potential. The reality is there are thousands of kids and families across A Precious Child's eight county service area who live in poverty and below the self-sufficiency standard. Thank you to our dedicated sponsors who made tonight's gala possible and who believe and support our important mission. A special thank you to tonight's presenting sponsor, RBC Wealth Management. We have an amazing program in store for you tonight. And if you have not already checked out our silent auction, be sure to place your bids. As a reminder, the auction closes at 9 p.m. tonight. If you're a fan of the popular TV show, The Voice, we have something special for you. The finalist of last season, Thunderstorm Artiste, will be doing a special performance to wrap up tonight's event. Last but not least, don't forget to snap a picture to submit for the virtual photo booth. Now, on to our first presenter. I'm honored to introduce a special guest, Daryl Treyweek, Director of RBC Wealth Management's Western Region. Take it away, Daryl. Hello and good evening. My name is Daryl Treyweek. I am the West Division Director for RBC Wealth Management. And tonight, we're here to support a wonderful cause, a precious child a cause that is so near and dear to my heart. And tonight, RBC Wealth Management is proud to be the presenting sponsor. At RBC Wealth Management, we have a legacy of giving. We believe that supporting our local communities will make us all stronger and together. This has been a part of our DNA for in excess of 100 years. I especially believe that supporting these children can create a huge impact on our communities today and tomorrow. Children are our future. And with a little help today, a new generation has the potential to succeed and become leaders, innovators, creative thinkers, and problem solvers. The help that we provide today will empower these children to face adversity head on and help them navigate a new set of challenges. And for the children who are facing these life difficulties, a precious child is here to help them see a bright future. Again, I would like to thank you for joining us here tonight for this very special evening and for being the light for so many vulnerable children in our community. Have a wonderful gala. Thank you again for all you're doing. Thank you, Daryl. I'd also like to thank our other sponsors who made this night possible. A few sponsors I want to call out are, our VIP sponsor for tonight is Kirsty Martinez, Keller Williams Preferred Realty. Our platinum sponsors are DaVita and FTI Consulting. And the gold sponsor of tonight's gala is GHX. We also have a great list of silver sponsors. So thank you to this amazing group of generous donors. And finally, our bronze sponsors. Thank you for all your generosity. But don't worry, there are ways for you to give, just like our amazing sponsors. You too can help change a child's story by donating now. It's simple. You can text C's to 91999 to donate or click the donate button on the event site and bid on some of the many items in the silent auction. Thank you for helping us work towards a brighter future for disadvantaged and displaced children. When we give kids the clothes they need, we're giving them the possibility of belonging. When we give children the backpacks filled with school supplies, we're giving them the potential to thrive academically. And when we give kids the opportunity to participate in sports and arts, we're giving them a sense of belonging and the chance to play alongside their peers. 
Just as a small boat can create a large ripple, we believe that our work deeply impacts the children and families we serve. We think taking care of the small things can mean everything to a child. A new calculator to ensure she can keep up in algebra, baseball cleats so he can play on the team, a winter jacket that keeps her warm at the bus stop. Every child deserves to be cared for like this. And the impact of kind gestures, both big and small, can linger for years down the road. This is the true measure of our work. Our initiatives encompass the whole child, everything from cradle to career, so that every child has a chance to confidently navigate their childhood and prepare for a more promising future. A Precious Child was founded in 2008 by Karina Martin, a loving mother who served 51 kids in that first year. Last year, the organization served more than 57,000 children in need throughout Denver Metro community providing them with more than $15 million worth of basic essentials such as clothing, coats, shoes, toiletries, school supplies, gifts for the holidays, educational opportunities, and access to extracurricular activities. All of this with the help of more than 9,200 dedicated volunteers. What an impact! On top of everything they do throughout the year, a precious child is on the front lines of COVID response efforts. Karina, could you tell us more about a precious child's response efforts during this pandemic? Thank you, Lance, and absolutely. As you can imagine, starting a precious child out in my garage in 2008 during a financial crisis was no small feat, but I never saw a global pandemic being part of mine or a precious child's story. I am beyond proud of our dedicated staff who worked tirelessly to support our families during these difficult times. Our supporters quickly stepped up to rally behind us to give of their time and resources. This has allowed us to be a safety net for our community. The families we serve every day at A Precious Child face one hardship after another, and we are seeing more families than ever who need our help, who have never had to ask for assistance before. We have been able to serve as a hub for COVID relief efforts, distributing to more than 35,000 individuals in our community. Some of the essentials we've distributed so far to help reduce the spread of the virus include 20,000 masks, 14,000 bottles of hospital grade cleaner, 243,000 diapers, and 53,000 hygiene items. You, our donors, have shown us by your generosity that we are in this together. Now I wanna share a video with you about a family you enabled us to serve during the pandemic. Right when the COVID-19 pandemic started, a precious child leaped into action. We were able to pivot our programming and really focus on what the true immediate needs were to our community at that time. When I heard that my work was going to be um, closing down, I started to panic because I have an infant that needs a lot. He needs formula, diapers, and with not having a job and everything on the shelves at stores being gone, there was no way for me to get these items. Families were really struggling to find disinfectant spray. They were struggling to find hygiene items along with diapers and wipes. And so we were able to come together alongside our agency partners to collect those materials and distribute them to the families that truly needed them the most. Knowing that I'm able to get these items it made me feel a lot better because I know that my child and my brother and sister aren't going to have to go without the things they need. We wanted to make sure that the way we were distributing these goods was done in the most safe way as possible. And so we were hosting drive-through distribution days where families could drive through safely, stay in their vehicles, just pop open their trunk, and we were able to put in all the goods that they needed safely and securely. And those families had everything that they needed. It was very important to us to make sure that we still had our resource center open during this time. We got really creative with how that looked. We even had an outdoor shopping experience where we actually moved our store outside into the parking lot so families could shop socially distanced in an outdoor space for the items that they needed. I'm working with a family of five, soon to be six, um, three little boys and another one on the way. 
Um, they're at home with their family, but they are having a hard time um, finding steady employment and being able to afford enough diapers. Um, so CASA partners with a precious child and thankfully a precious child was able to donate a number of diapers for three of the little kids so they can change them timely. One of the most impactful stories that we had was from Melissa. She was a single mom of four who had an infant and she came to us and she had just lost her job due to COVID. She was laid off. Not only could she not afford diapers to begin with, but she couldn't find the diapers or wipes anywhere. And so when she came to us, she was just so overwhelmed with the fact that we had these items for her. We actually got a picture uh, sent to us a few days after she received them with her little infant boy on a bed uh, surrounded by the diapers we had given him because she was so excited to be able to provide those for her kiddos. It just made everything that we were doing make sense. It put everything to perspective. We do so many things on such a great scale, but knowing that those 30,000 individuals that we helped over the COVID response, each one of those people are an individual. Each one of them have a story just like Melissa and her young son. And just being able to provide those items to those families really has a huge impact on them. I know it's a little piece of you guys is helping me, but for us, it's a lot. We thank Precious Child because of helping us today. It gave me a, a sense of a guarantee that I'm going to be able to make it through this. We've been responding to the pandemic for over six months now, and we don't know when the pandemic will be over, but we do know that we'll be alongside our families every step of the way so that they're able to thrive in the future. Let's not stop now. We need your continued support, as we simply could not do the work without you. Please donate to A Precious Child today and give hope to the children and families who still need to be reached. Thank you. Wow, did you hear those stats? If this was a football game, we'd be winning. A Precious Child has truly been on the front lines during the pandemic. That's a huge accomplishment in a short period of time. And to see the impact it made for a family like Melissa's is truly remarkable. Keep in mind that A Precious Child has programs year-round that provide equal access to opportunities and resources that allow all children and families to thrive. A Precious Child works to remove barriers, reduce stress, and increase the quality of life for so many families. Now, let's watch a special video, one that will tug at your heartstrings. My name is Robert, and I'm 54 years old. I'm a single parent of a seven-year-old boy named Ren. He's just my world, he's, he's my, uh, my life support. He just keeps me going all day long, every day. Me and his mom really didn't get along too good, so she actually uh, left to Oregon when he was 18 months old. I think, you know, both parents are important, so it's, it's really, really hard. Robert was a full-time laborer, but when he became a single dad, he made that decision to step aside from his job and really be there for his son during that time and become a full-time dad. We lost our place, we had to go live with a family member, and he wasn't understanding, you know, where's my mom? You know, he wasn't understanding it, and I wasn't understanding it at the time. You know, I, I thought it was all my fault. And I just woke up one day, you know, and it was actually a day like this, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make things change. I'm gonna make it better for him, and I did. Robert heard about A Precious Child through one of our agency partners at Health and Human Services. And when he first came to A Precious Child, he was amazed by just the sheer amount of items that were on the store floor, but also the items that he was able to take home and really provide for him and Ren. We also were able to provide Ren with backpacks so that he could start the school year prepared and confident with all the school supplies that he truly needed. And also during the holidays, we were able to get Ren a brand new Spider-Man bike. To see him opening the present was you know, the Spider-Man bike, you know, and he was like, wow, you know, he wanted to get on it right away, you know. He got on it, he was real smiling, a little guy, you know, real big smile for our first Christmas like that, you know, him being five, and it made me feel real good inside, you know, him opening that gift, you know, and knowing that it came from Precious Child was even more. And same with, you know, school. Seeing him opening the backpack, you know, with the markers and the and the glue sticks, you know, and uh, glue sticks and glue, Dad, glue sticks and glue, you know, and markers and pencils, you know, he was just, and I was amazed too. I was like, wow, all that's in there, you know, and 
first day of school with this little backpack on, you know, and knowing that all he, he all the stuff that he needed for school was actually in there, and that took a lot off me, you know, knowing that, you know, I didn't have to struggle and get him that, you know. You guys helped us with that, and I looked around and I seen little girls with the same kind of little backpack, you know, and little boys with the same color backpack, and them real smiling, you know, first day. Of, kindergarten, you know, real smiling with their little backpacks. And I'm like, I bet they got that at Precious Child. I bet they got that at Precious Child. And sure enough, you know, they're sitting there smiling, you know, and I'm like, this is their journey. This is where they started, he's in kindergarten. He's left school ever since. What we do at A Precious Child is so much more than the basic essentials that we give out to our families. We're truly able to provide them with hope so that they can become contributing members of the community. I'm just really grateful for um, for everything you do, not just for me, for everybody who walks through the door. I mean, because it, it's a blessing. And I feel blessed because I'm here, you know, and I am moving forward. And it's just hard. And everybody needs help. I'm lucky to have a son, and I'm blessed. A Precious Child really looks at a child from cradle to career. Through child and family advocacy, family stability, academic success, social and emotional well-being, and workforce development, we're truly looking at a child holistically and ensuring that they have everything that they need in order to thrive. My name is Lamisha. I'm 39 years old. I'm a single mother of four kids, 17, 15, 13, and five-year-olds. I've primarily raised them by myself. Literally the day I got married, we left the courthouse, got into our apartment that we shared together. He put a couch in front of the door and beat me up for an hour and a half. In the process of him being arrested and all that, I got my kids and left and went and stayed at a Bather Women's shelter. Other people found out that we were homeless and, um, sorry. My, my son would, would ask me to meet him at different places. So it wasn't so obvious. He played football and he would, be, he would ask his coach to drop him off at the 7-Eleven that's a block away from the house. So yeah, that, that's been the hardest thing is watching my kids be embarrassed but we've never been on the street. We've never, we've never had to eat out of dumpsters or trash can. We've always been together. So that's one thing, good thing I can't say. Unfortunately, Lamisha's story is not that uncommon for the families that we serve. When we first met Lamisha, she was sleeping in different shelters with her kiddos and had just secured affordable housing, but unfortunately they could not afford the furniture that they so desperately needed. Her and her sons were sleeping on the floor and they didn't have anything that they could truly sleep on. And so when we met with her, we not only were able to help her with basic essentials such as clothing and shoes and coats, but we were able to connect with our donors and supply her with brand new furniture so that they had beds to sleep on, dining room tables to eat on, and really feel like a family in their new home. It's been over, over six years since my kids have had their own beds. Um, we. We either would have a full bed and they would share it, but yeah, it, they they all have their own beds now, their own bedding, to to jump in all over everybody's beds. Oh my gosh, yeah, they uh, they came in the house and like Jay like froze. He was like, wow, and I was like, that's yours, and he was like, that's that's awesome. At A Precious Child, we're so intentional about how we deliver our services to our families. We always want our families to feel empowered and confident when they're receiving these goods. And so by providing basic essentials, but also the furniture and all these items that these families desperately need, that is giving them the courage and the strength to continue on. When you don't know how you're gonna get things together or how things are gonna work out, like, it, it just showed up. And I'm grateful, I'm grateful that y'all are here. 
I'm grateful that y'all are helping me. Our Give Sports and Give Arts programs provide not only the resources such as the equipment or the art supplies, but it also provides the registration fee so that these kids in need have the opportunity to play sports or get involved in the arts alongside their peers just like anyone else. My name's Aubrey. I'm seven years old. Why I like being in the second grade is because it's fun and you don't have to like you get to help the kindergartners and sometimes you don't have to do your work because then you get to help the kindergartners. We received a scholarship essay from Aubrey and I would love to take this opportunity to read a portion of her essay. I love to dance because it makes my body move in a happy way and all that exercise makes me feel healthy. I'm on a junior dance team and we dance at community events like Pirate Days in North Glen. It makes other people happy too. Sometimes they even dance while we dance. So many people get happy and healthy. I love Art Club. It is good to express your feelings when you are happy and even when you're sad. Sometimes when I can't figure out if I'm happy or sad, I just start painting and when I'm done, I look at the colors and the pictures or patterns and then I can figure out if I'm happy or sad or mad or maybe a little of all of that and maybe some scared too. My mom and dad are not able to take care of me because they have a bad disease called addiction. So I live with my grandma Katie and Papa Mikey. They love me lots and make sure I have healthy food that I don't watch t television or play video games any more than one hour a day. But they are kind of too old to run and play with me very much. So being on the dance team helps me wear off some of that energy after sitting in school all afternoon. My half sister Haley died very suddenly earlier this year. She would have been 16 tomorrow. I miss her. Being with other kids in dance and art clubs helps me not feel so alone. It makes me feel happy that people can help me and other people like to do art or something. At the end of the day, it's more than a backpack. It's more than a pair of shoes. It's more than a dance class. It's truly giving these children hope. My name is Aubrey and I'm a precious child. I'm Ren and I'm a precious child. Your generous contributions are able to empower boys like Ren to be the confident boy you see today. And they helped Lamisha get back on her feet after facing difficult challenges. And because of you, our generous supporters, they're thriving. Now, I'd like for you to meet Jeff Story, the CEO of Lumen Technologies and the parent company of CenturyLink and an executive ambassador for a precious child. Kicking it over to you, Jeff. Good evening and thank you, Lance. I truly believe that with our donor support, we can push it over the goal line tonight. As Lance said, I'm Jeff Story, CEO of Lumen, and I have an unofficial title of Ambassador for a Precious Child. I'm so thankful to be part of this organization and this evening of hope and inspiration. As you saw in the videos, Robert, Lamisha, and Katie showed us what it's like to struggle in the face of poverty, as well as what difference it makes when a precious child steps in to provide basic essentials families need to flourish. I've been very lucky in life, but before I tell a little bit about me, I wanna start with why my wife Shelly and I are so committed to this organization. First of all, it's efficient. It will use your donations wisely and resourcefully. Secondly, it's effective. A precious child uses your contributions to really make a difference in our communities. The final and most important reason for me is that difference. I see at the heart of the organization, the desire to create a sense of belonging for struggling families, a sense of acceptance, a sense of being part of the community. For anybody struggling, this sense of belonging is a fragile thing, but for a child, it is especially fragile. Your contributions allow us to remove simple roadblocks to this acceptance. The lack of a backpack, school supplies, Clothes all lead to isolation for a child. If you grew up with all of these things, you might not realize the very significant impact to self-esteem and confidence that their absence brings. Rather than sitting in a class, happy, engaged in learning, a kid with old tattered clothes is likely sitting there thinking how alone they are, how unworthy they are to be there. I was one of these kids, like Wren, Growing up, my parents did all they could to provide for me, but we lived paycheck to paycheck. I couldn't afford to have the right clothes. I had, they had to last longer than they should have. My jeans would be stained. 
ripped or too small as I grew. I've told this story several times at a precious child events, so I won't go into all of the details tonight, but for me, it was closed, but in particular, socks. I just knew that I was less than everybody else because I couldn't even afford to have socks that weren't full of holes, brown or threadbare with age. As strange as it may sound, that experience still affects me today, but it had a massive impact on me as a kid. As I said, I've been very lucky in life. I didn't have a precious child, but I did have people that fought for me to help me overcome the insecurity and self-doubt that things as simple as old socks bring. Without those people and without their fight for me, my life could have turned out very differently. A precious child fights that fight for the children of our community. Your donations fight that fight for the families you will likely never meet. Please join my family's efforts to support a precious child with your own family's efforts. With distance learning and limited in-classroom activity, you might think the need isn't great right now. I'd argue that the need is as great as ever. Self-worth and a sense of belonging are 24-hour experiences. It doesn't start when we get to school or end when we get on the bus for home. How we think about ourselves isn't dependent on whether we're in the class or remote. I'd also point out that with all the economic hardships, the number of struggling families is increasing dramatically. There are thousands more children waiting for resources that a precious child could provide with your donations and support, be it socks, a backpack, or a soccer ball. These kids and their families need your help. They need heroes like you to offer hope. Please, if you're able, donate whatever amount you are able to contribute for kids like Wren and families like Lamisha's. Reflect how lucky you've been in life and give a gift that is meaningful to you. We can't thank you enough for your generous contributions. Every donation, large or small helps. I now want to introduce Haley Bear, who will be leading tonight's special appeal. Take it away, Haley. Bear, and I am so excited to be with all of you tonight virtually. That's right, we are doing this virtually. Now, I am so excited to also share that I had the special opportunity to tour this incredible organization. That's where we're at, right here, right now, at the Resource Center of A Precious Child. Now, A Precious Child turns 12 in November, so let's celebrate a little bit early tonight. This is an organization that started out of CEO Karina's garage, okay? In their first year, A Precious Child served just over 50 kids. And look at where we're at now. In this year alone, we have served over 57,000 children. Now, as Karina mentioned, from the very beginning, a precious child has been an unstoppable force determined to change the story for the most vulnerable children and families in the community. For a precious child to be a continuing driving force for families in need, we need your help, probably now more than ever, ladies and gentlemen. And as Jeff alluded, our goal during the special appeal is to raise $200,000 on top of we've, what we've already raised thus far. Now, after seeing these videos and hearing straight from the source, you saw and you heard just how much of an impact you can make with each and every donation. And you know what I love to tell y'all? They're already coming in. Carissa Fisher, she just donated $250. Laura Conargolario, I love your last name. I hope I got it right. I don't know if it's Italian, but it's beautiful. Laura gave $500, so the donations are already coming in. It looks like you guys are pretty skilled at this whole bidding deal as well. I see the bids coming in. William's bidding it up all the way. This is awesome. Now, I want you to keep opening your wallets to be able to give to a precious child to help kids like Aubrey and Wren, okay? Now, typically at our in-person event, I have my handy dandy bid card. This is what you would raise. You know, we'd ask who wants to give $10,000 tonight and you'd raise that bid card up high in the air and we would announce your number. But tonight, it's gonna be done a little bit differently. We're doing it virtually. So you can give on your phone or you can also give on your computer. We're doing it online. It's totally up to you and it's super simple. It's as easy as clicking a button. I mean, literally. You can follow along with me 
We're gonna start high and we're gonna work our way down. We're gonna get through all of the levels and we have a variety of levels that you can give at. The donations are continuing. Kim Smith, $50. Lisa Fredericks, $50. Ju Julie Mecklenburg, oh my gosh, the names, they are coming in as well. $20. Barbara McDaniel, $100. Every single dollar counts. Again, you can follow along with me. We're gonna start high, we're gonna work our way down. But please note, you can also give a custom amount. All you have to do to donate is click on the donate button at the event site, or this is super easy. You can text SEAS, that's S-E-A-S, -E to 91999, 91999. So text SEAS to that number, and that's how you can give. Get this though. This is my favorite part. I'm super excited to share this with you. For every donation made tonight, your gift is going to be matched dollar for dollar up to $100 thousand dollars. Now I want to thank all of our match donors, okay? Including Bruce and Maura Johnson, Kevin and Monica Kerber, Doug and Pam Olson, Eric and Casey Olson. I don't know if they're related, but thank you both Olsons. David and Patricia Thyfault, Ray and Becky Torres. We have Ref Gen Partners, TJX Companies, Townsend Retirement, and we even have an anonymous donor. So that's our match, a hundred thousand dollars they're gonna match that all right remember our goal though is two hundred thousand I know we can do it you all are giving your incredible donors and bidders Justin Chalfant just gave a thousand dollars Justin you go my friend thank you so much let's make this goal happen I want to tell you though I have a much larger more personal goal of participation that all of you joining us all of you tuning in watching the show that you will give at a level that's meaningful and impactful to you every single dollar counts tonight Okay, let's make it happen for a precious child. I'm gonna share more about every single level that we're gonna offer for you to give at and where your dollars are going, who you're impacting on a precious child. Again, we need your help more than ever to make sure every child in Colorado will feel safe, secure, and of course, provided for. So let me tell you about our first level. Again, you're clicking in to give, and I'm continuing to watch all the donations come in. Tegan Davis just gave. Here's our first level, ladies and gentlemen, our $20,000 level. And I want to tell you, since inception, a precious child has helped more than 250,000 children that were challenged by poverty, abuse, neglect, or crisis situations. Kids in need often don't have the basic items they want and need, like warm coats, a backpack, school supplies to be able to thrive at home and at play. Now at this first level, $20,000, you can sponsor a hundred families. Think about that, a hundred families. I'm continuing to watch. I don't want to miss anybody. You can sponsor a hundred families of four to receive $160,000 worth of clothing, coats for the winter. It gets super cold here in Colorado. Shoes, toiletry, household items, and many other basic essentials. You see they're moving this handy dandy screen behind me. Nope, we don't have a special conveyor that's doing it. We have two ladies here that are moving it. And look, look where we're at, we're in the resource center. You can sponsor items just like this, just like what you see here, ladies and gentlemen. You see all the items. Oh my gosh, confetti, what's happening? A donor just came in, $20,000. Who is it? Carolyn Taylor. Carolyn Taylor just gave $20,000 thousand dollars oh carlin carlin i'm so sorry it's a hard one carlin like the car i love it twenty thousand dollars ladies and gentlemen we're starting the night out strong and you know what you're giving you are helping to provide the basic essentials which families need most in life coats interview outfits shoes toiletries twenty thousand dollars you see it all right here behind me ladies and gentlemen let's keep these donations coming in all day long taylor has just donated fifty dollars lori just came in at 250. this is incredible every single dollar counts tonight now i want to tell you as we're continuing onward during covid we saw a huge increase in the need for diapers wipes and all things baby now this next level a $10,000 donation. You could provide 200 babies with essentials and so much more, including baby clothes, food, and gear. Get this, valued at a total of $1,000. Now, the families these items go to are those they would normally have to ration or go without. Can you imagine that? Not being able to have baby food or diapers or the essentials, just like what you see here. Look at all these essentials that we see, ladies and gentlemen. We have the baby food, we have some toys, uh, diapers, food, even these cute little ballet flat slippers, so adorable. Babies definitely need these, okay? This is our $10,000 level. Who would be so kind to click in and give at the $10,000 level to help a family in need? 
I'm looking, I'm looking. The donations are coming in. Kirsty Martinez. Okay, Kirsty, you are awesome, girl. I love that drink video you made. She is also a VIP sponsor. She is the head honcho. She owns her own brokerage at Keller Williams. She is awesome. Kirsty. Thank you so very much. We appreciate your generous giving tonight. They're continuing to come in. The total is raising. Jeff and Shelly story just came in. Jeff and Shelly, thank you both so very much. $10,000 right there. Oh my gosh, I can't, how am I supposed to keep up? The donations are continuing to come in. Oh my gosh, Phoenix Group, the Phoenix Group. You all are amazing. Thank you so much. Hey, you can also give us a group tonight, okay? We have a lot of house parties that are out there. Um, my buddy Jim, the enterprise god, he is hosting a house party tonight. Get everybody at your house party to give, okay? We have almost 50 house parties celebrating a, a precious child tonight. That's pretty incredible, okay? They're continuing to come in. Allison and Michael just gave a gift of $300, and that's a good point. I wanna tell you, we have all these levels that you can click in and you can give at, but remember, you can also give a custom amount, whatever works best for you, and every single dollar counts tonight. Richard and Jean Saunders gave $2,500. This is incredible. We're gonna keep it coming, keep on clicking in, keep on giving. Our total is at 62,000 so far. We got to get to that amount, ladies and gentlemen, 100,000 so we can get that match and get to 200,000. Jeanette Dern just gave, thank you so much. All right, here we go. I wanna share with you about our fill a backpack. This is a really cool program. It's one of two seasonal programs where we provide backpacks filled with great appropriate school supplies to the children to be able to maximize their academic potential. Now, the last thing a child wants to do on their first day of school is ask their teacher for a notebook or pencil. When I was on my tour here, Courtney brought that point up and I'm like, duh, yeah, so right. Now, if you're a child in need, you are less likely to have these materials readily available but I wanna tell you at A Precious Child, we are starting the school year off right. We start everything all right off here because we believe in academic success. So let me tell you, this past year alone, A Precious Child distributed 21,000, 21,000 backpacks in all eight counties that we service, all the way from Douglas County, where I live, all the way to Weld. I'm continuing to watch the donations come in. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Now at this next level, let me tell you about it. This is our $5,000 level. And at this level, you can provide 100 children, 100 children with backpacks filled with school supplies to help them feel confident and prepared to learn. We are empowering our youth to achieve their full potential tonight. This is our $5,000 level. Go ahead and click in. I'm watching the screen. I love to see what I'm seeing right now. Oh my gosh, Michael and Ashley Kluth just came in. $5,000. Oh, you know what I forgot to do early on? Get ready, here it comes. We're ringing the cowbell because we're having fun. We're celebrating a precious child and we are raising a lot of money tonight. We're gonna keep that coming. Another 5,000. Katherine Anderson Hyams, thank you so much. Another $5,000. I love what I'm seeing. You, you know what's so fun? So I'm watching this TV and confetti is just popping up. It's just getting me so excited. Okay, Bob and Anne Marie White, another 5,000. Bob and Anne Marie, thank you so very much for your generous giving tonight. Let's keep it coming. This is our $5,000 level. Oh my gosh, Stephen Pook, and what is that? Lorinda Pang, the pook and the pang. I love it. $5,000. You both are awesome. Let's keep it coming. How am, I, how am I supposed to keep up with you all? It's so easy. All you got to do is click in to give. Click in. Mike and Judy Cardi. Mike and Judy, you guys rock. Thank you so much. Okay, at this $5,000 level, we've already, we went from 62, 65,000 just a couple of seconds ago to over $80,000. We're about 86,000. Let's keep it coming. All of the funds raised tonight are going back to a precious child. I love what I'm seeing. Justin Levi just came in, $100. Thank you so much, everybody. Keep the donations coming, all right? Now, I wanna tell you about this next level. A gift of $2,500. This provides five, not one, not two, not three, five art scholarships for children to tap into their creative side. Now your donation goes towards the Give Arts program. This is a program that provides support for art program costs associated with things like lessons, participation fees, instruments, art supplies. It goes to all the children in need, giving them the opportunity to participate in activities that help them to learn new skills and express themselves. Just like what you see back here, ladies and gentlemen, a guitar for music, or you see ballet slippers for dance. I love this. These are all things that a precious child is able to give to children in need so that they can be able to, again, express themselves in music, dance, theater, 
and visual art. Now, you saw the impact firsthand of art and dance on Aubrey's life. So I ask that you help us to impact more children, just like Aubrey, at our next level, $2,500. Here we go, the donations are coming in. They can't be stopped tonight, I love it. Frank and Janet Nessinger, that's right, $2,500. Oh my gosh, I'm yelling, $2,500. Thank you, Frank and Janet. Oh, I know this next couple, Tom and Lisa Corley. It's good to have you joining us, Tom and Lisa. Hello, thank you so much, $2,500, we appreciate it. Meg Dingy, thank you so much. Another 2,500. Meg, you go girl, I love it. Let's keep it coming. The confetti is being popped. Champagne's being popped, I love it. Dick and Jeannie Saunders, another 2,500. I think that was four at the $2,500 level. That's another 10,000 right there. We're at 93,000 plus raised so far. They keep coming in. And hey, I wanna tell you one thing, everybody. You can put $2,500 on your credit card your spouse won't even know, okay? 2,500, keep it coming. Aaron and Sarah Hoffman, another 2,500. This is great, you know what this calls for. We're ringing the cowbell tonight, that's right, 2,500. Let's keep it coming, everybody, come on. $2,500, and remember, you can still click in and give it a custom amount. You can also text C's, S-E-A-S, -S, to 91999, all right? Here we go, they keep on coming in. Oh, we just had another, okay, this is great. This is what I'm talking about. We had a custom donation come in from Katie and Mark, $2,000. Katie and Mark, thank you so much. I'm gonna try to pronounce that last name. Falutico, Falutico. Katie and Mark, $2,000. Thank you so much. And that brings up a good point. You can click in at a level that you want. You can also type in a custom amount. Every single dollar counts tonight. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, I wanna tell you about this story about this child named Jaden. So before I get into that, let me tell you one quick thing. When I came here and I toured A Precious Child, it was an incredible experience. And I, I felt like part of the family. I was given coffee beans, I was given a cute little hat, and I was given this folder with a pamphlet of all this information. So I was looking through it, I was looking through this folder, and I found this incredible story about a child named Jaden. And I just said, you know, I have to share this when we go into the special appeal program. So let me tell you about Jaden. Now, Jaden was abandoned by his mother at a young age, six years old. Um, he, the, the mother asked um, a friend to babysit him and she didn't show up after three days. And so that kind lady uh, took Jaden on and he became part of a wonderful family. He became an addition to their family. But I wanna tell you with adding an additional child to their family, they needed a little bit of help. And that's where a precious child came in. Now, in addition to being able to get clothes for every season, Jaden and his football team, he's a big football player, he loves football, they received a Give Sports Scholarship at a Precious Child. And this is one of my favorite programs. I was a big sports girl. Um, it provides new gently used sports equipment along with support for the sports program costs associated with things like, you know, registration, uniforms, camp, and also participation fees uh, for children in need. You know that sports aren't cheap, especially nowadays when we have the AAU teams and all of that. Football is an expensive sport. And a precious child has provided some of the things that Jaden needs. It is a key part of his life. Now at this next level, $1,000, you can provide two children with the support they need to participate in sporting programs, just like my buddy Jaden. $1,000, let's go ahead, let's see. The donations are coming in. Come on, everybody, we're at, a, oh my gosh, we're at 108,000. Okay, we got that match, let's keep it coming though. Andy, $1,000, one of our board presidents. Andy, don't kill me if I pronounce your name wrong. Conigliario, Conigliario, oh my gosh, is that Italian? I'm sure you make great pasta. Andy, thank you so much, $1,000. Let's keep the donations coming in. Come on, everybody. Can we switch up the screen? I wanna see if anybody new's coming in. Oh, Valerie Finberg, Valerie just gave 2,500. Valerie, you're like one of my favorite type of donors or bidders. You give more than what's asked, thank you. We're at the $1,000 level, donations are coming in. Allison Stam just gave, she gave 250. This is great, ladies and gentlemen. I love to see this, $1,000. That's the level we're at. Go ahead and click in. You can give at this level. If you're watching us right now, click in, or you can also text C's, S-E-A-S, to 91999, okay? Come on, everybody. Our $1,000 level, go ahead and click in, and we're gonna keep ringing the cowbell for you all night long. All right, I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. Okay, I'm gonna move on to our next level. Now, with a gift of $500, you can help support the Ed Essentials program which covers the gamut from SAT prep to tutor fees, computers, and even calculators. 
Now, with a donation of $500, you can provide two children with laptops in professional tutoring. And I just have to say, because I've, I've done quite a few virtual auctions, one of the biggest needs, and we see this all over, uh, one of the biggest needs, not just here in Colorado, but all over the United States, is laptops. It's computer accessories. So this is a really important level. This is our $500 level, ladies and gentlemen, and you can provide two children with laptops and professional tutoring, okay? So who wants to make a gift at this level? Oh my gosh, I can't even finish my sentence because the bids are coming in. John Conley, $500. Thank you, John. Okay, come on, provide a gift at the $500 level so that you can help us remove barriers to school attendance and improve educational outcomes for our economically disadvantaged students, especially when the needs have only increased, as I said, due to COVID-19. Joyce, Joyce just gave $500. Joyce, you rock, my friend. Let's keep it coming. Let's bridge the gap tonight. We're bringing that cowbell out because David Heller, David, woo -woo, David just gave 500. Thank you, David, you rock, my friend. I love what I'm seeing tonight. Christine Folk, another $500. Christine, you go, girl. I love it. We're, we're seeing the donations come in. Sam and Karina. Karina! I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're all healed up. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're happy tonight. Karina just gave $1,000, our CEO, the best lady around. Thank you so very much. We're at 109,000. We're over 109,000. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, the donations are flying in. Oh, we are so excited. We even had somebody here. We said break a leg. She broke her foot. She was so excited for a precious child. This is incredible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our next level. $250 donation helps cover the cost of sports equipment, like I mentioned earlier for Jaden, and registration fees putting kids, as I said, Jaden and Wren, in the game, in the football game. Now, for this is an important fact. For 90% of the kids who participated in a Precious Child's Give Sports program, we saw a huge rise in grades and attendance. So we wanna help these children participate in activities that aid them in feeling a sense of normalcy alongside their peers. Now, as I said, it's as easy as clicking in at the $250 level. Or remember, you can also text C's to 91999. A link will pop up, click it, it's gonna take you to our donate page, okay? You'll see all the levels, go ahead and click the $250 level, or again, feel free to give it a custom amount. Every dollar counts tonight. I'm watching the screen, I'm seeing who's gonna click in. This is our $250 level. And you know what I also say? $250, that's like two days at Starbucks, okay? Come on, ladies and gentlemen, $250. Let's go ahead and click in. I kind of want to scroll back. Can we go back to our other screen? I want to see what else is coming in. All the confetti, confetti's being thrown in the air because we just hit 200,000. Let's go, let's keep it coming. $250, this is our level we're at right now. The donations are coming in at every level. Jenny gave $20, Wendy Defoe gave, um, Marissa, our very own Julie's daughter, she gave Marissa, you did an excellent job with Handbid and putting in those pictures. Great job. Your mom says she's going to be over um, next week for you, so get it prepared. Get it going. Okay. Oh my gosh. Dale McDaniel just gave $500. Dale, thank you. That's great. Another $500 gift. Everybody, go ahead and click in at our $250 level. We want to see the donations come in. I know there's been a couple of people. We're continuing to scroll and to see those donations come in. Oh, Jill Kenny. Jill, you go, girl. $500. That's right. This is what we love to see. Every dollar counts tonight. It's all going back to a precious child. You are having such a huge impact tonight. Now, we only have a few levels left to give at. And this is something I really wanna share with you. Remember, redundancy is okay. Ooh, Lisa, Lisa just gave 250, I love it. Okay, keep them coming, Lisa, $250. But remember, okay, redundancy is okay. So if you've already given in one category, but you feel in your hearts, you know what, maybe I should give again, I wanna give again, do it. We're not gonna hold it against you, okay? I, I swear, I promise, we won't. The donations are coming in. Natasha Busby just gave $250. Natasha, I love your name. Thank you so very much, $250. Let's keep it coming. Come on, everybody, click in. Now, we are at this next level. You can continue to click in to, at 250 or at, at whatever level is best for you. But let me tell you, our next level, $100. With your gift of $100 today, you can provide a child with a new backpack of school supplies and gifts for this upcoming holiday season. This is so important, ladies and gentlemen. You can help them to feel special. Now, at this level, 
you can do something so special. With your contribution of $100, you can also give two children, this is one of my favorite things I saw on my tour, you can give two children a birthday bag filled with cake mix, frosting, candles, and a gift to celebrate their birthday. Now this is done through our Precious Gifts program. There's so many great programs here. And it provides these gifts to children who would otherwise go without during these monumental times in their lives, like a birthday or a Christmas. So help make that happen. It's just $100 and you can provide two kids with the birthday bag. They get their own cake, you know, frosting, candles, and a gift. Something so simple, but so special. So let's make those kiddos' birthdays so fun. $100, that's all I'm asking. Let's go, get those donations come in. I wanna to go to that other screen. I wanna see what else we're seeing. Here we go, oh, I love it. They're coming in, Anna Cutler. Anna just gave $100, Anna, thank you so very much. They keep on coming, this is so great. I'm looking back and forth, I gotta keep my eyes everywhere. Gonzalez Miller just gave, this is incredible. Carissa Fisher, she gave $250. Every dollar counts, let's keep it coming, everybody. This is our $100 level, and redundancy is okay. I like what I'm seeing here. Oh, they're coming in, Bruce Johnson, you go Bruce. $500, the man of the hour. This guy knows everybody, I gotta tell you. $500, thank you, Bruce. Brandon Kaufman, $100. Brandon, thank you so very much. Let's keep it coming, everybody. Remember, it's as easy as clicking in, or you can text SEAS, S-E-A-S, -E to 91999. Mike McFarland just gave $100, thank you, Mike. Maura Johnson, oh my gosh, Maura, you gave again? You rock, $250, the Johnsons. I love that couple. Okay, let's keep it coming. Come on, everybody. Everybody's laughing at me here. Hey, we love you guys. Shout out to you. Let's keep it coming. Come on, $100. It's all going back to a precious child tonight. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, listen up. Katherine Davis just gave $3,000. That's what I'm talking about. That's that custom amount. Everybody wants to clap. Hey, it's okay. You can clap. Come on, let's hear it. We're here. We're celebrating. We're clapping. We're socially distanced. We're wearing masks. We're following the rules. Everybody, $3,000 from Catherine. Catherine, thank you so much. Derek Swanson just gave $100. This is for Catherine and Derek and everybody else. Let's keep it coming. I love it. We love it. We are having fun because it's all going back to a precious child. So far, we're almost at $115,000. We've got that match. This is great. Over $200,000. This is a heck of a night for a precious child. And you know what else? Um, in addition to our sponsors, ladies and gentlemen, this is in addition to our sponsors. So over $200,000 plus all that sponsor money. This is incredible. And you know what else I want to tell you? Your silent auction. Get those bids in. There's a, a ton of great items. Somebody outbid me on the Christmas lights. I'm really sad. I really want my house decorated beautiful for Christmas this year. Um, there's a trip to Greece. There is so many incredible packages. There's over 120 items. So get your bids in because the silent's going to close in about an hour. It's going to close at 9 p.m. So if you're bidding on hand, but get those bids in. Okay, here we go. We're going to move on to our last and final level. I'm continuing to see the donations come in. This is just such a great feeling tonight. We're celebrating, we are pivoting, we are proactive for a precious child. So keep clicking in on our page, keep giving ladies and gentlemen, we don't want you to miss out. Another donation just came in, Lance and Jennifer Carl. I love it, I love it. Two first names, Lance and Jennifer Carl, $250, that's right. Okay, our last and final level though, the $50 level. You can provide a child with hygiene items such as soap, shampoo, toothpaste, and other basic necessities once an entire month, and you can provide all of that. Oh, Justin Chaflin gave $1,000. Justin, Justin, thank you so much, $1,000. Oh, there's Marissa Kaufman, that's Julie's daughter. Hey, you, thank you so much for your gift, we appreciate it. Let's keep it coming. Okay, now let me tell you what else you can do at just the $50 level. You can also sponsor one baby, and a little baby with essentials like diapers, wipes and baby food, just a $50 donation. Now the need for access to basic essentials was the largest at the time of creation for a precious child and it is still so great. Remember, we're cradle to career. I want to at the end on, oh, I wanna end on one special story. Okay, this is so great. So this is a part of my tour. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about this. This was one of the stories I was like, wow, okay. This place is pretty great. Now, when we were on our tour, Courtney, who you saw earlier in the program on the videos, um, she was telling us about this kid named Samuel. Now, Samuel really wanted to do a welder inter internship, but it cost 
$50 for the steel toe boots. He needed these boots to be able to do the internship. So he was going to have to turn it down because he didn't have the $50. But you know what happened? A precious child, they stepped up. They were there. They were able to give him the boots so that he could take part in this super important internship which is gonna have a direct impact on his future career. Now, this is something, it's so small, but again, it has such a huge impact for Samuel moving forward. So $50, this is our last and final level. Let's see those donations come in tonight, ladies and gentlemen, with Kenneth Brown. Kenneth just gave $100. Kenneth, thank you. Bill Duncan, another $100. Keep it coming, every dollar counts. This is our last and final level, it's $50. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing it in honor of a precious child tonight. And I want you to remember, Redundancy is okay. Every single dollar counts. Stick with us because we're almost getting down to our final show with thunderstorms. So stick with us. $50, David Stotsky. Oh, I love it. It's like Shotsky. He just gave $50. David, thank you so very much. This, oh, he gave $50 twice. Hey, you, you got the message. Redundancy is okay. I love it. Aaron Epstein just gave. Everybody is coming in and making an impact tonight. Our $50 level. Ooh, Nicole just gave $70. Nicole, you go, girl. I love it. $70. Let's keep it coming. Come on, everybody. Jessica Morris, Michael Cardi. Everybody is giving tonight. Thank you so much. Let's keep those donations come in. I'm looking all over. I, I don't want to miss anybody. Mark just gave $100. Ooh, confetti's popping. We just got to thank you. Christy Watson, you go girl. Thank you so much for your donation. Christy, what did you do? Mark Gormley just gave 100. I love this. Well, this is great. Christy, yes, $2,500, $2,500. Christy Watson, thank you. Every single dollar counts tonight. Oh, and if you're watching us, you're a little behind, you can keep clicking in, keep giving. Kathy Johnson just gave $100. Kathy, thank you. Our total, almost at 118,000. We can get one more don, oh, here, yes, it's coming in. One more donation, get us to 118, okay? We have secured that match, so you know we are over 200,000. This is phenomenal. And of course, we also have all that sponsorship donations and money. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. Heidi, Heidi just gave $250. Aaron Hess, another. This is incredible. We got 100,000. Oh my gosh, I love what I'm seeing. This is phenomenal. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for your support, for your love, and of course, for your generous giving of a precious child tonight. We could not have done any of this without all of you. Keep on clicking to give. Thank RBC Wealth Management as well. RBC Wealth Management, thank you so much. Thank you for your generous giving. Now, I wanna tell you, at a precious child, right here, where we're at, we wanted to make this as mission-driven as possible and show you the good work we do day in and day out. We envision a future where every child grows up to be secure, self-reliant, contributing member of their community. And you know what, as I said earlier, all of you who are joining us tonight, you are making that happen. I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very much. We're at 118,000, over 118,000. We, the donations are continuing to come in. Again, we got that match. We secured the match. This calls for one more cowbell. This is so great. We're applauding. We are so excited here tonight. Thank you so much. And remember, there is still time for you all to give. So keep those donations coming in and you have an hour to go before that silent auction closes. This is at 9 p.m. So make sure you're bidding on the items. Check out the no bids category. You have it all right there. And whoever is bidding on those Christmas, Christmas lights, watch out because I want those. I'm coming after you, whoever you are. All right, keep the donations coming. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special performance coming your way. So I'm gonna turn it on over to Lance as he Produce with somebody so very special. Get ready. Haley, you knocked it out of the park. Thank you for your energy and excitement that has helped us raise an amazing amount so far. To all you viewers, there's still time to give, so let's keep the momentum going. I do want to take a moment to again thank all the donors who have given this year and tonight. On behalf of Colorado children and families in need, thank you for helping to change the story of a child's life and for giving them hope for a better tomorrow. Don't forget that there is still time to support this wonderful organization. The silent auction will continue until 9 p.m. tonight, so bid high and bid often. I'm excited to announce our final performance of the evening will be by someone you may remember from the last season of The Voice, Thunderstorm Artis. 
We're grateful the talented Thunderstorm is able to join us tonight. And with that, I want to thank you for joining us. And here's Thunderstorm. Hey, I want to thank you so much for your donations, but also for your choice to support a precious child. It really means a lot. And um, I think it's such a blessing what this organization is doing. So this one's for you all. Hope you enjoy it.
Thank you all so much, and thank you for your donations. They really make a difference. So long. See ya. Goodbye. Thank you for helping kids like me. Bye-bye. Adios. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Thank you, and good night.